So typically, patients may start to notice the quality of their vision becoming a little bit impaired at the uh, one or two years after cataract surgery, but that can occur a little bit earlier in certain instances. What can sometimes happen is that the quality, meaning the difference of uh, contrast, the change in contrast sensitivity can occur. Patients report difficulty reading small print or developing some blurring of the vision, particularly in the distance as well. These can all be signs of uh, developing a condition that we call posterior capsule opacification or PCO for short. And that is normally a sign that a patient may require a YAG capsulotomy laser. So fortunately, the YAG laser capsulotomy is a very quick and painless procedure, and it's done as an outpatient, um, where a patient comes in and they sit down and lean forward on a specific laser machine with their chin on a rest. And then we apply laser using a, a specific type of lens to direct the laser beam directly onto this area of misting that is developed behind the intraocular lens that was implanted during cataract surgery. So the laser is focused specifically on a very small area that's only actually about 10 microns in size. And under expert guidance by a surgeon, the laser is applied, which then provides energy to that area and breaks away that mistiness and removing it out of the way. The important thing to consider in the AG laser is to remove the mistiness away from what we call the visual axis and therefore creating a clear opening on which the light can pass through and the vision can improve. So uh, like any procedure in the eyes, there are small risks. Thankfully, they are very rare and the vast majority of patients uh, have uh, complication-free treatment, which is entirely routine. A specific things to bear in mind with laser is that there's a small risk of inflammation that's generated in the eye and that normally subsides. And in the vast majority of cases, patients don't require any treatment for that. Uh, in addition, uh, there's a very small risk of developing an increase in what we call floaters, which are often black dots in the vision of the eye. That can often, in the vast majority of cases, be transient and then fade away. But if uh, they persist, then we would recommend a follow-up just for to be checked, at, um, to the retina to be checked at the back of the eyes. As well as that, extremely rare uh, complications of the laser can include minor damage to the lens implant, although under expert guidance, the laser is often fired away from the lens implant, and that doesn't normally happen. In addition, it has been reported uh, of a very, very small risk of things like a retinal detachment, but we're talking of the range of one in two to 3,000. So that's very, very low. So the process is very quick, very easy, and importantly, painless. Um, what one can expect as a patient is that to come into the, into the clinic, they go through what we call a consent process, where they, uh, the surgeon, in this case myself, would go through the risks and the benefits of doing the procedure and explain what, would, what the procedure would involve. Uh, following that, the eye is often prepared by applying what we call dilating drops, and that makes the natural pupil of the eye a little larger and therefore allows us access to the area of misting behind the lens implant. The laser is then performed uh, in a dedicated laser room, and often the procedure can take one or two minutes only per eye. Therefore, the procedure is very, very quick. And as I say, we use local anesthetic drops as well, and therefore it's uh, not, pain not painful at all. After the procedure, um, that's pretty much it. The patient can then leave. We often give patients an information leaflet and then contact them the next day just to see how they're getting on. And in, in, in the case of care under, under myself, uh, we will obviously arrange follow-up for you as necessary within a few weeks, if needed. So YAG capsulotomy, fortunately, is a uh, permanent solution because once we clear away the misting from that central visual axis, it does not grow back um, as it has no means to do so. It's very important to use the correct technique to ensure that the uh, capsulotomy is large enough so that the visual, visual access is clear and patients will have good vision for years to come.